everyone, it's Lauren here, just popping in today to share with you a very starry layout. I'm creating this layout for the Hip Kit Club and I'm using all their beautiful supplies that came in their January kits. I don't know about you, but I can't believe it is February already. January has just flown. It's been a wonderful month for me, a busy month, but wonderful, and uh, to start off an early February using showing you how I use these beautiful January kits I think is a good way to start a fresh new month. So I, as you could see when I just started out there I was really playing around with which pattern paper I was going to use with this star cut file that I've that I've created. Now I had a few different ideas. Uh, I've been challenged this month to do a layout incorporating star stars as a theme. I'm sounding a bit muddled today, aren't I? So I've decided to um, stick with this beautiful pink fresh studio pattern paper there as my background. I'm going to back that in some purple stars. Now originally when I had this idea in my head, I thought I really wanted just a simple layout back the stars, do some journaling, add a little bit of ephemera and Bob's your uncle, I'd have a nice quick layout for you. But in typical Lauren style, it turns into a monstrous kind of project and it probably in real time took me about an hour and a quarter to complete this layout. So bear with me, I think this video will you know, once I've sped it up, it will come to around the 17 minute mark. Feel free to jump through. Um, I've tried to speed it up in as many spots as possible, but I really wanted to take the time and show you how I built this star cluster up. It is, this layout did turn out more vibrant than I had possibly imagined, but looking at it after I'd completed it, although once I'd finished I was thinking, my goodness, um, looking at it the next day and a little while after I'd finished completing it, I really am delighting in the layout. And most importantly, my little girl who is the feature of this layout absolutely loves it. And so I guess the, you know, the joy is in her reaction, even when this layout didn't quite turn out how I'd hoped it um, I had I hoped it would. It is lovely to see that the person who I wish to delight in it the most absolutely adores it. So it's a win. It's a win there for me as well. So as you can see, I've just used this cut file as is and I've cut out the stars, which left me with a whole bunch of little stars that I'm going to be able to use on future layouts, which is lovely. And you'll see that come together there soon. And then I just wanted to add some mixed media just to give it a bit more of a mystical, magical effect, a bit more dreamy. And as I was working through it, I, I, I could sense a little bit that this mixed media was doing that. But I think, I'm not sure whether it was because the yellow was a little too vibrant for me or I'm just, I'm not sure how, why this didn't feel the way I wanted it to feel. You'll see me at the end of this layout coming in with um, some white acrylic paint to blend it out and make it a little bit more dreamy. So hang in there with my background and you'll um, you'll see it come together a little bit more cohesive. I, I guess that's the word. It just was a little bit, it just wasn't working at this point for me. <laughs> Um, I'm just using a mixed media mat there. That's one of the Heidi Swap ones. It's really good. It's easy to clean off and I just roll it up and keep it down the side of my chair. So when I need to do a little bit of mixed media that I know is going to be a bit messy, I can just pull it up, clean it off and roll it back up and sit it down beside me again. And I know it's easily on hand. I used a bit of clear gesso on this layout to help hold that mixed media product. The beautiful thing about the pink fresh papers is it has a real matte kind of finish on it which to me although I'm not sure whether it is or not would make it it feels as though it's going it would be really absorbent which in some cases that's 
really wonderful, but in other cases where you want to sort of play with your mixed media products and move your medium around a bit, it doesn't give you much of a much of a window of time to be able to have a little bit of play and give that sort of dreamy effect. So just a bit of clear gesso on there didn't take away from the background, but allowed me to have a bit of flexibility when uh, playing with my mixed media products there. Now, I wanted to, the black and white photo, as you can see, because of the background, is really dynamic. It really pops, which is lovely for a photo. But I wanted to incorporate some other black elements into my layout just to sort of balance it out a bit. And that's probably where I was starting to think, oh, this is not really me. <laughs> this is not usually my style. <laughs> Um, but I managed to, uh, using one of the pattern papers in the collection, just cut that strip of black and white stripe down the side, which, as you will see, has sort of started to balance out that black. And you'll see me shortly uh, use some of that stripe um, to build up my stars and make them a little bit more dramatic. So just playing around with some of the ephemera pieces that came in the January kits. They are from Pink Fresh Studio and also amongst all those goodies there are the free printable cut files that are available for the Hip Kit Club subscribers this month. So go if you haven't had a chance to go over and check those out, do. It's a fabulous little pack and although the fussy cutting uh, takes a little bit of time. It's certainly worth it in the end when you get a beautiful pile of ephemera to add to your January layouts. Uh, if you're very clever, you can get your silhouette to do that cutting for you. But for some reason, my silhouette was having trouble with the print and cut feature. So I ended up just taking it along to my son's local basketball training session and fussy cut those out. Now, I wanted to back my... A pattern paper here onto the plain uh, purple cardstock to make to back those stars so they'd really pop out but because I'd put the mixed media on there and dried it off the stars weren't staying flat so I've just got some glossy accents there which I use as my adhesive and I've used some double-sided tape on the edges which means when I stick it onto the purple cardstock I'll get that nice flat uh, finish with those stars and it, they won't be bubbling up. Um, the reason why I, I don't mind them, I don't mind having a bit of a textured look on some of my layouts where that they they bubble up and the edges curl a little but because I really wanted to make my stars pop some more I knew that I'd be putting lots more product on them yet and I thought it might be just a little bit too much. So there you have it. So it's coming along there now and I'm sort of starting to balance it all out. And here I am starting to build up the, the stars and trying to make them just pop and make them a bit of a feature on the layout. And also keeping in mind that I wanted to incorporate some of the, the black elements uh, to balance out that photo along the way. Not too many, but just enough. So all these little stars that I'm applying here are just the centres of that cut file that you have seen that I'm using there. Just a little bit of glossy accents in the middle of the star, which means that the centre of the star will be super adhesive, but the edges will pop up a little, making the stars uh, appear as though they're sort of jumping off the layout a little, which is is lovely um, and gives that a little bit of dimension without having to add any foam texture to the layout. So what do you think? What do you think about how this is coming together? It's definitely not me, is it? It's not my usual style of layout. Uh, using a pattern paper background, sometimes I really struggle with, but I like challenging myself. And when I saw this pattern, Pink Fresh Studio Paper, I knew that I really wanted to try and use it as my background. So I'm just picked up my black journaling pen and I'm just adding some extra texture along the way with some stitching with like just with my pen just putting little dashes around the edges and I also wanted to color in some of the stars and I also just wanted some straight black border lines and this is just going to help pop those off the page and 
make it look as though those stars are part of the background as opposed to a pattern, a plain, plain cardstock underneath it. So I just wanted to bring them out, give them some dimension. This gorgeous crepe paper, puffy, um, I think they're thickers from the Hooray collection, um, had some great gold, uh, silver, sparkly stars. And when I was thinking this title, Reach for the Stars, I knew I'd, I would love a little bit of sparkle. So I've incorporated some of those and it also helps with the dimension of the stars, giving them different levels, different textures, makes them seem a little bit more magical. So if you have a think about this, um, if I had used just a plain white background for this layout with this star cut file, you would see that it's it would have settled down a little bit more and really that sort of starry dreaminess would have come across a little bit more intensely. Um, I guess when you're looking at this layer, your eyes sort of drawn to the pattern paper as well as the stars, which makes this concept really busy, which I'm really glad that I've got a really dynamic photo there that is strong and the black and white helps you draw to the photo. Otherwise, it would be completely lost. So it's coming together. These gorgeous puffy uh, alphabet st stickers um, are, are an absolutely gorgeous font. It's nice to pick up a little bit of um, your alphas and have them in all different fonts and this one's a little bit whimsical and happy and happy and I think it's um, I think it's come together really well. I end up on this layout putting sort of together two titles, Reach for the Stars, and I've had a mix of those beautiful puffy stickers as well as the pink fresh smaller stickers um, will come out in a second. And having a mix of fonts and different, whether you want puffiness or cardstock stickers or chipboard stickers, having a, diff uh, a range of different uh, textures on your layout certainly gives a, a nice feeling and creates a, a real sort of artwork feel in your layouts. So have a think about that when you're doing your layouts um, and pulling your kits together. Uh, as you can see, I've used cardstock, ephemera, uh, puffy, puffy, puffiness, um, chipboard stickers, I've used mixed media, all these different elements uh, create a beautiful vibe in your uh, in your layouts and so I want you when you're popping your layouts together to have a bit of a, a think about how many different types of elements am I using and to see maybe if you've only used one or two to challenge yourself to find just something extra and see how it feels, see how that feels in your scrapbooking and see whether that's something um, that sort of resonates with you to take your layouts to a different kind of place and I think that's where scrapbooking can cross over a little into um, not only we're documenting our memories we're also having some of that really artistic creative time and and I think that in this layout is a real testament of that happening for me because as you can see it's not a layout that you it has certainly some Lauren characteristics, but it's certainly not feeling like a traditional layout, a Lauren layout. And so, but I really, although it sort of was a little bit tricky for me, and I'm here, you can actually see I'm trying to recover it. I'm trying to blend out and get that dreaminess that I'd thought of in my mind when I was thinking about this layout. Um, I really have had an artistic process. I've played with different mediums. I've played with different textures in product and that's evolving my scrapbooking style and putting extra ideas and thoughts and um, techniques into my memory bank for future layouts that will come naturally when when I'm creating. Um, so as you can see, just by applying that white plaint, um, I've I've been able to really pull out some more dreaminess there, which is what I'm after. And what you would have seen if I just used a plain white background for my layout there. 
It's really interesting. I don't know about others that use the Dina Wakely products. I find that the gesso, the white gesso and the white acrylic paint always gives off a little bit of a yellowish tinge. So have a think about that if you're picking up any of the Dina Wakely white products that it may give off a little bit of a yellowish tinge um, which is why I use the clear gesso on white cardstock and pattern papers um, as, as opposed to the white gesso there because I really want that crisp white. So here I am adding some journaling and this is a really special part for me because my little girl who's nine, it's, every now and then she's starting to doubt herself and saying things like I can't do it and this is too hard and I can't this I can't thing and I really am saying darling you can do whatever you set your mind to you need to work hard and and you can achieve your goals and so I really wanted this layout to really empower her and resonate with her the importance of giving it all you've got and if you give it all you've got you may or may not reach your goal, but the you're building character and you're building your resilience and you're build, building that positive mindset, which is so important in this world full of negativity. That we um, that I really wanted her to to always think she can and always believe that there's good in the world and even when times are tricky, um, that if she works hard, she can achieve her goals. And um, just to keep trying always. Um, it's an interesting process for me as a mother with my little girl, watching all these different stages evolve and trying to support her and guide her through coming to that understanding for herself. I don't know about you. She's um, I've raised two boys already and um, this little darling girl has certainly thrown some challenges at me, but I'm trying to navigate that that really well. So here you have it. I hope you like my layout. Don't forget, pop over to the Hip Kick Club if you don't already um, if you don't already know about it. Check it out. Beautiful kits delivered to your door each month and are super inspiring. So thanks for watching guys. Take care. Bye. <music>